Hi, my name is Ali. I am a sapphic non-binary person and I'm gonna talk to you about my experiences with being LGBT. I'm super excited. What it means to be non-binary. Whew, okay, this is a big topic. It literally just means I don't identify myself as a man or a woman. I started off as a drag king. I was putting on a beard, I was binding my chest, I was wearing suits. I found that a lot of the time when I would change out of drag and turn back into Ali, I, I felt very dysphoric. My first thought was that I must be a trans man. And I, for a while, asked my friends to call me uh, he, him pronouns. It didn't feel right because I also enjoyed feminine things and, and enjoy presenting female at other times. I came to the conclusion, non-binary, I must be somewhere in the middle of the two. People say, oh, Ali, you have long hair, you wear dresses, you enjoy makeup, so therefore, you must be a cis woman. This is not correct. The reason for that is not because I have a vagina. They're not correlating, they don't, <laughs> they're, they're not related to one another, and that's the Thing that people don't get. For me that like the whole beauty of being non-binary is that I'm not putting myself in a box and I'm not labeling myself as this thing. Something that people coming out for the first time should understand is that you shouldn't get mad at people for not understanding your identity. The likelihood is is that they were never taught about it. I was never taught about it. It's your job to make them understand what it means to be you. After a long time of, of trying to explain and, and, and help them understand, I think my parents do get it now. I'm really glad that I took the time to try and educate them because I managed to salvage a relationship. My gender identity is something that is really personal to me. It is more for myself than it is for other people. I would recommend exploring uh, as many identities as possible if you're unsure about who you are and how you identify. It was a great experience for me to get people to call me he, him for a while. It helped me discover that that wasn't how I identified and um, who knows, I might change in the future. I view my gender as being pretty fluid. It can be something that you explore for the rest of your life if you want. I found this label of non-binary and I'm, I'm comfortable with it and it, and it describes me pretty well.